your favorite players growing up? Favorite pitchers? Walk me through. Favorite pitchers? Uh, I, definitely Clayton Kershaw. I grew up in that era, so it's tough not to root for him. Um, I grew up a Cubs fan, so the the Greg Maddox, uh, Mark Pryor, Kerry Wood era there too. Those were some of the big ones that I was rooting for. So yeah. Well, you mentioned him. So so what was it like to have Mike as a pitching coach with, with the Maddox Tots? It, it's been it's been great. Uh, obviously his experience, but just his uh, his demeanor, his his uh, kind of his personality too. Especially last year when we had Greg and Mike together, they play off each other pretty well. Um, they keep it light, but they come with a lot of experience, like I said, and a lot of knowledge. So it's cool to take in. What's what's kind of the best advice or gems you've gotten so far from either those guys or you know your teammates? Or something. I mean, you got Hall of Fame teammates too, right? Yeah, no, you're right. I mean, there's a lot. I could I could be here for a while. Um, but honestly, more of the simpler things, uh, just how to approach. Like Mike's big on me on focusing, so. You know, it's something that, yeah, you know, I should focus. But if you really, you know, hone in on that and, and lock in on the glove, it makes pitching a lot easier, trusting your stuff. You know, like we've, everyone here is here for a reason. And um, if you don't trust your stuff, you're not going to be successful in this game. So just the reminders of those things, I think, get lost in translation and in an era of pitch data, pitch shapes, all that type of stuff. So it was refreshing to hear a little bit of that side of things, too. It just... The emotions of uh, you know, I'm, I'm assuming Bochi came up to you. Just the emotions of making the, the open day roster. What's that like? It, it, it was a lot. It was it was cool to take in. It was a moment I've been I've been dreaming of for since I was a kid. But also being in pro ball since 17. So something that was a goal of mine. You know, since then, really, obviously, I've had a realistic chance the past couple of years. But um, that and then, obviously, you know, with with Bochi being the one to tell me and, and Chris Young sitting in there and Mike, like it was. This is a really cool moment. I'm happy that that was who was a part of, you know, my first opening day roster. So beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff, and and um, just being a part of the champions has, has that sunk in as well. Not <laughs> quite. Just last year really sunk in. <laughs> I mean, honestly, not quite. But I'm sure the ring ceremony is going to help on Saturday. So uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> you said it. It's, it's it's leaves you speechless. It really does. You know, just to the time and place that we are here as Texas Rangers you know like I said I was part of the the team or the organization since 2017 so we had a little bit of down years but then being up here now is is pretty surreal to be in the clubhouse with a bunch of just great dudes but amazing players as well well yeah I'll, I'll, I'll leave you on this too what just what is the what has your journey been like just grinding to get here and you know, making the show the last couple of years and everything, but just, just that journey, what has it been like? Yeah, it's been a very up and down stretch. Uh, at times it felt like two steps forward, one step back, um, you know, just constantly. Some, whenever I gained momentum, something would crap up. Usually um, on the injury side of things, I had a lot of elbow injuries. Um, then I started, you know, having a little bit of bad results, that kind of, hit me in different ways. So I've got a little taste of everything, honestly, and it's made me grow as a person. It's made me appreciate the game a lot more. It's made me um, open up and, and try to pick each other's brains and, and learn more from, you know, anything really from health and baseball related. Uh, so it's made me more of a well-rounded person, but um, it's kept me humble along the way too. A, a lot of good things have come out of it. I wouldn't have chosen it, but you know, it's made me persevere and, and show me how much I can really handle. Is the mental toughness side of the game, is that sometimes even more important than the physical absolutely. side? Yeah, absolutely. Like a, like a lot of high-level sports, but, you know, I think baseball, I think golf is like that as well. Um, you know, mental is as or if not more important than the, than the physical. Um, I think the fact that we play for six months straight, you know, 160 games, you got to stay in it, otherwise you got no chance, you know. All right, man. Well, I really appreciate it. Let's catch up, Don, down the line, all right? Yes, Congratulations. Appreciate it.